everyone welcome back to gk today i am nuzat sana and in this video i'll discuss today's top current and static general studies questions for upsc prelims examination 2022 onwards and these questions are framed keeping in view both the factual as well as analytical aspects of upsc prelims exam also i would like to inform you that these questions are part of gk today's upsc prelims test series which is available in gk today android app and the test series for 2022 prelims examination comprises total of 7500 questions divided 2500 questions on current general studies and 5000 questions on static general studies and the series has started from may 2021 and it will end with upsc prelims examinations 2022 so if you wish to access all questions of gk today upsc prelims test series you may subscribe the test series in the app so now without wasting any further time let's get started so this is our lecture number 15 and now let's start question number 1 with reference to the various viruses in news in recent times which of the following is are included in rna virus so before that we have to know what is the difference between dna virus and rna virus see a virus can self replicate inside a host cell and the infected cells may produce thousands of new copies of the original virus at an extraordinary rate and this genetic material of a virus can be either dna or rna so the viruses that contain dna as the genetic material are called dna viruses and rna viruses on the other hand contain rna as their genetic material Now talking about their differences first of all dna viruses are mostly double stranded while rna viruses are usually single stranded then rna mutation rate is higher than dna mutation rate okay then dna replication takes place in nucleus while rna replication takes place in cytoplasm and these dna viruses are usually stable while rna viruses are unstable in nature so these are some of the basic points through which you can identify what are the differences between dna and rna viruses okay now let's have a look at the options first is ebola virus this is responsible for causing ebola hemorrhagic fever and it is an rna virus actually it was responsible for causing a number of epidemics in the continent of africa such as in 2014 in west africa okay so this is a rna virus second is corona virus these are also rna viruses that cause respiratory infections in birds and mammals and they are so named for the characteristic spikes on their surface that help them attach to the host cells okay this is also correct third is adenovirus these are actually not rna viruses rather it is a kind of dna virus that infect a range of vertebrates including the humans and they can cause illness ranging from mild respiratory infections to critical multiple organ diseases okay so this is not correct and fourth is influenza virus these are a group of rna viruses that cause influenza in birds and mammals and they have been behind a number of pandemics like 1918 spanish flu this is one of the example okay so this is also correct and now right answer becomes 1 2 and 4 that is option number c now next question with reference to the structure of sars cov2 virus which of the following proteins primarily help the virus to bind with the host cells thus causing infectivity what does this term stands for severe acute respiratory syndrome coronavirus 2 so now with reference to its structure which among the following options is the protein that help the virus to bind with its host cell first is n protein or you can say it as nucleocapsid protein This is one of the four structural proteins of SARS CoV2 virus and it forms complexes with the genomic RNA. 
so it plays an important role in improving the efficiency of viral transcription and its assembly so this protein does not actually help the virus to bind with its host cell second is s protein or you can say it as spike protein this protein is another structural protein and it is found arranged on the viral surface and it helps binding with the host cell so this is correct third is m protein or you can say membrane protein also it is called as structural protein so this type of protein is suspected to have an important role in membrane fusion and hence the infectivity of the virus so this is also correct and last is e protein or it can be said as envelope protein so this is another structural protein which along with the m protein forms the outer covering of the virus but it has nothing to do with its binding okay so this is wrong and now correct answer becomes option number b that is 2 and 3 now why we have taken this question why it was in news because the researchers recently shared that apart from s protein that is spike protein other proteins in covid-19 virus such as m protein also play significant role in its transmission or infectivity of the virus and m protein has higher infectivity than the other proteins fine now next question which of the following is our correct statements with respect to the used cooking oil based biodiesel so here with respect to used cooking oil based biodiesel two statements have been given and you have to identify which of the following are correct first of all let's understand why consumption of used cooking oil is harmful because what happens is during frying several properties of oil are altered and the total polar compounds that is tpc are formed on repeated frying and the toxicity of these formed compounds is associated with several diseases such as hypertension liver disease etc okay so that's why we should not consume used cooking oil now since we cannot waste this oil so we have developed a way to convert this oil into biodiesel okay now let's read the statements first is used cooking oil is converted to biodiesel through chemical process called as saponification actually this uco is converted to biodiesel using a chemical process called transesterification and not saponification saponification is actually a process that involves the conversion of fat oil lipid into soap and alcohol by the action of aqueous alkali for example naoh okay so this is different type of process here the process used is transesterification and under this process the fatty acid triglycerides in the used cooking oil is made to react with alcohol in the presence of a catalyst to convert it into biodiesel okay so this is wrong second statement says the fuel produced from used cooking oil is mainly fatty acid methyl esters so yes in this process the fuel material is produced in the form of fame or fatty acid methyl esters also glycerol is an important by product in this process so this is correct and the right answer becomes option number b then there is a term ruco or repurpose used cooking oil it is an initiative of fssai that is food safety and standards authority of india to collect and convert used cooking oil into biofuel fine now why it was in news because the first supply of uco based biodiesel was recently flagged off from the tikri kalan terminal now next question with reference to various animal zoonotic virus diseases consider the following statements the first statement says rabies is caused by lisa viruses so yes rabies is a viral disease that causes inflammation of the brain and it has very high mortality rate 
once the symptoms start appearing and it is caused by the lisa viruses it is correct second statement says hawk cholera is a type of swine fever first of all hawk cholera is also called as classical swine fever and it is caused by pesty viruses basically it infect pigs and cause illness ranging from mild to severe forms where death occurs in just 15 days okay so this is also correct and third statement says african swine fever spreads through domestic flies no actually this fever is a hemorrhagic viral disease that affect pigs but it is not caused by domestic flies rather it is caused by asf that is african swine fever virus which is transmitted through ticks okay so this is wrong and correct answer becomes only one and two now apart from all these things there are two diseases that has been completely eliminated from the world first is smallpox in humans and second is rinderpest in ruminants talking about rinderpest it is also a viral disease that affects cattle and causes very high death rates now last question with reference to various biodegradable products that have been recently developed consider the following statements so three statements have been given regarding various type of biodegradable products and you have to identify which of them are correct first statement says morin yoga mat is a biodegradable yoga mat developed from water hyacinth so this yoga mat is a biodegradable yoga mat and it has been developed by assamese girls under the simang initiative of nectar dst and the mat was manufactured from water hyacinth which is an invasive weed plaguing the water bodies okay so this is correct second statement says jan aushadhi suvidha is a sanitary napkin so this is an oxo biodegradable sanitary napkin that was launched in the year 2018 by the indian government so a special additive in the napkin aids its degradation when it comes in contact with oxygen okay this is also correct and third statement says pavitra pati is a face mask so yes this is a biodegradable face mask that has been developed by pune's defense institute of advanced technology and it was developed based on the principles of ayurveda so all are right and hence the correct answer becomes all 1 2 and 3 then apart from these three products insts starch based hemostat is a biodegradable material that is used for stemming life threatening bleeding so the material works by absorbing the excess fluids and concentrating the natural clotting factors in the blood okay so that's it for today i hope you have liked the session if you want to give any review feedback or suggestion regarding these lectures you can tell us in the comment section definitely we will try to implement that now we will meet again tomorrow with five more new and interesting questions till then stay tuned thank you so much for watching and please not forget to subscribe to gk today with this minusat sana signing off